Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video I am super excited about because we've worked on this fun poncho for about a year or maybe a little longer. We're calling it the Funky Chunky Poncho. Now the pattern is written in three sizes and we've done only three sizes because it's a big, roomy, and comfortable poncho. And it's super easy. You can see it's basically done in a granny square style. We're using a nice big thick yarn which is a bulky number six, so it stitches up super quickly. And to be honest, I designed this one for me. Now the sizes run an extra small to small, which gives you about a 21 inch neck opening. Then size number two is a medium large, which is about a 25 inch neck opening. And then we have the extra large to 2X, which is about a 27 inch neck opening. And another way that you can adjust the neck is because we're going to be adding this tie so you can cinch it in a little bit if needed. And if not, you just let it out and just have this beautiful tie. Now the length is up to you. Now I've written the pattern to be about 20 inches long. But if you want a longer one, and that, that measurement is from the point at the top to the point at the bottom of the poncho. And if you like a longer poncho, you just keep on repeating it until it's the length that you want. So it's a super easy and super versatile pattern. Now you can find all the information on this pattern along with the pattern and lots of pictures to help you out on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog down in the notes underneath this video. So the yarn that I use to design this pattern is the Yarnspirations Karen Anniversary Cakes. Now this is a, oops, that's upside down, bulky number six. It is 100% acrylic and you get 35.3 ounces or 1,061 yards on one of these skeins or cakes of yarns. Now, the color that I used here is called Blueberry Bash, but you do not have to use this particular yarn. The main thing is that it needs to be a bulky number six yarn because the pattern is designed for a great big thick yarn. And there's lots of other yarns that you can use for this project. Anything that you find that's a bulky number six yarn will work. All right. And as far as the amount, it really depends on what size you're going to make. I used approximately 20 ounces for my size that I made and I made the extra small small. Now I normally wear a medium to large, but this is a nice roomy poncho. So keep that in mind when you're making your poncho. We're going to be stitching today with our L hook and that's an eight millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a nice big needle just for weaving in ends and your scissors. And then I also recommend that you keep your tape measure handy and measure as you go because this is a big, roomy, comfortable poncho. We're going to be starting at the neck of the poncho and then working our way down. We're going to be starting with foundation double crochet stitches and that's going to give us a nice stretchy neck and comfortable neck for our poncho. If you're making size one, which is the extra small, small size, you're going to need to stitch 66 foundation double crochets. If you're making the medium large size, you're going to need to stitch 72 foundation double crochets. And if you're making the extra large 2X size, you'll need to stitch 78 foundation double crochets. 
I'm going to be doing the extra small, small size, and so I'm going to stitch 66 foundation double crochets. We're going to begin with our slip knot, and we'll chain four chains. Yarn over and go in the fourth chain from the hook and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and only go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the second loop. Yarn over and go through the third loop. So what we've done is we've made our chain and our double crochet. Yarn over, go through that chain that you made and pull up a loop. Yarn over and only go through that chain or that first loop and then we'll finish our double crochet. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. Now when you're counting your foundation double crochets, be sure and count this chain three at the beginning as your first. All right, so let's continue making foundation double crochets for as many as we need for the size that we're making. And again, I'm stitching the extra small, small size, and so I'm going to be stitching 66 foundation double crochets. I have stitched the amount of foundation double crochets that I need for the size that I'm making. And so what you're going to do is lay it out so that it doesn't get twisted because you don't want your circle getting twisted. And then you're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now you'll notice there's a gap right here. And so you'll need to take that beginning yarn and I should have left a little bit longer of a tail here and close up that gap with your needle. I'm going to come back through there and grab that. And you can do this later if you want to. I just like to go ahead and get it done. Then I don't have to worry about it and it doesn't become a nuisance. I need to get a little bit longer piece of yarn on mine and make sure that's secure. But you want to attach that there so that you have a nice circle to work with to make your poncho. For row two, our chain three here counts as our first double crochet. In this same stitch, we're going to stitch two more double crochets, one and two. Now we're going to chain two. And then we're going to stitch three more double crochets in this same stitch. And this will be the first point of our poncho. There we go. Now we'll chain two. We'll skip the next two stitches and stitch three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and three. And chain two. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the three double crochets in the same double crochet, chain two, skip two, and repeat. Now for size one, which is the extra small, small, we're going to repeat this nine more times. For the medium large, you're going to repeat it 10 more times. And for the extra large 2X, you're going to repeat it 11 more times. All right, so we're going to repeat chain two, skip two, and three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Some more yarn out. Just There we go. Chain two, skip two, three double crochets in the next stitch. There we go. And chain two. And continue to repeat that for the amount needed for your size. 
So I repeated three double crochets, chain two, skip two, nine more times. So I have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three double crochets, chain two, skip two. For the extra small, small. If you made them medium to large, you're going to have eleven. And if you made the extra large 2x, you're going to have 12 groups of three double crochets, chain two, skip two. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to skip two, and now we're going to make our other point for our poncho. So we'll stitch three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in that same double crochet. because our poncho has a point in the front and in the back. And this is our front. Where we join is the back of our poncho. All right, so there's our corner, chain two. And now what we're going to do on this other side is exactly what we did on this side. Chain two, skip two, three double crochets. One, two, and three and chain two and repeat all the way across. Now you're going to have the same number that you had on this side on this side. So here's our second point. Here's my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten groups of three double crochet, chain two, just like over here. You should have the same number on both sides. And then we have our last two, skip two, chain two, and we'll join to that chain three with a slip stitch and then we'll slip stitch in the next two double crochets slip stitch turn this so you can see it in that chain two space and chain three all right and so now you can see how the poncho is formed it will look a little bit bunchy here but remember, we're making a poncho and it needs to fan out. All right? And that's how it should look after row two. Now we're ready to stitch row three. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet. And in this chain two space, we're going to stitch two more double crochets, one and two. So we have three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And our corners, or our points of our poncho, will be stitched the same on every row. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And now we're just going to repeat what we've been doing. We're going to stitch chain two and three double crochets in the chain two space. I've stitched three double crochets in the chain two space. And now I'm going to chain two. And so what we're going to do is repeat across this row three double crochets in the chain two space. And chain two. And this is the same for all sizes. The only difference is you'll have more chain two spaces three double crochets chain two in each of the chain two spaces until you reach that next point and so I repeated three double crochets, chain two in each of my chain two spaces. And you'll notice that on this row, I have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And so what you're doing is increasing by a chain two to put your three double crochets chain two in on this side and on this side. And that's how our poncho grows bigger. All right, so if since I did the extra small, small size, I went from 10 to 11. The medium size went from 11 to 12. And then the larger side, size extra large 2x, went from 
12 to 13. All right, now we're to the point. So we need to do our point the same and stitch three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two and three double crochets. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> All right, then we do our chain two and we repeat on this side what we did over here. Three double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. And chain two. And repeat all the way across till we reach the last point. Because remember, we have a point at the beginning and in the middle, a back and a front point for our poncho. So now you can see how the poncho is going to lay. We're starting and finishing in the back at our back point. We stitch the side, then we have a front point, and we stitch the other side. All right, so let's do row four. We joined to our chain three, we slip stitched in those two double crochets, then slip stitched in our chain two space and chained three. So we'll stitch two more double crochets in the chain two space of our point and chain two, and then stitch three double crochets in that same chain two space. One and two and three. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets for our point. Chain two, and now we're just going to repeat what we did on row three. Again, we have increased by one chain two space, so we'll have one more set of our three double crochets, chain two. But we're stitching it the same, stitching three double crochets in the chain two space. There we go and chain two and repeat till we reach the point of the front of our poncho. So I completed this side and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve groups of my three double crochets, chain two. All right, and so then that brings us to our point. And again, we stitch that with three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. And I think by now you're really starting to understand how this pattern works and why it's so easy and quick. All right, so I stitched three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, and now I'm going to stitch chain two and stitch three double crochets, chain two, in each of the chain two spaces till I reach back to the point that's on the back of my poncho. I completed row four. I slip stitched to the chain two space and chained three. And this is how it should look after row four. And I think now you understand how the pattern works. You're going to continue to repeat what we did on row four, but you'll increase by a chain two space every row, which will give you an additional three double crochet, chain two on each side as the poncho grows. I love this yarn for this project because it is very stretchy. It makes a big, comfortable, comfortable poncho. And I think you're gonna love working with a bulky number six. And so what we're going to do to complete our poncho is we're going to continue to repeat row four, increasing, on every row on each side 
by one chain two space and you'll repeat that for 15 more rows and when you repeat that for 15 more rows you're going to get about a 20 inch poncho so if you want your poncho to be even longer you like a nice long poncho continue to repeat row four increasing every row for as long as you want your poncho once your poncho is as long as you want it to be in order to finish it off we're going to do a simple row of some single crochets and chains around the edge and I'm going to show you how to do that with my swatch once you have stitched the amount of rows that you need for your poncho we join to our chain three we slip stitched in those next two double crochets and then slip stitched in our chain two space and in this first chain two space of our corner we're going to stitch three single crochets one two and three single crochets this brings us to the next three double crochets and we'll stitch one single crochet in each of those three double crochets all right now brings us to our chain two space and we're going to just chain two then we'll go to the next three double crochets and stitch one single crochet in each of those three double crochets then we'll chain two and stitch one single crochet in each of the next three double crochets and that's the way the trim works on our poncho in the corner or the points you'll stitch three single crochets you'll stitch one single crochet in the three double crochets then you'll chain two and repeat that across till you reach the other point and then you'll stitch three single crochets in the other point and then repeat this working back up the side of your poncho once you've done the trim of your one single crochet in each double crochet chain two this brings us to those last three double crochets and we're going to single crochet in those last three there we go and then you'll just join to that first single crochet you'll cut your yarn remember to pull that to the back side of your poncho so it lays nice and neat and we'll just use our needle and weave that in now remember the two points we have three single crochets and then each double crochet is a single crochet then we chain two and repeat to make the tie which you don't have to make if you don't want to it's kind of up to you um, you just take two strands I like to leave a little bit longer of a tail and we're just going to loosely chain a hundred and fifty chains and that's going to give us enough to weave that through around the neck and to make a nice tie so here is my actual poncho here is my chain that I loosely chained 150 and then I weaved it in back and forth around that row one so I have a nice tie and then we can just cinch that in if needed now I added a pom-pom to one side and I'm going to show you real quick how to do that pom-pom because I think it adds a little extra pizzazz and funkiness to the poncho to make that super simple tassel or tassel as my grandmother used to say you're going to need to cut two strands of yarn that are about 10 or 12 inches long and then we'll just take that yarn and we'll wrap it around our hand loosely about five times one two three four five we'll make sure where we cut it is down here and we'll cut that also all right so now we have long loops and you can make your loops longer if you want a longer tassel 
We'll take one of the strands of yarn, put it through, and just tie that securely. And I like to do three ties, you know me. All right, and we'll use these to attach it to the end of the chain. All right, so now we're going to lay that flat. We'll actually put our string that way and then lay this flat and tie that as well. All right, so now what we're going to do is just clip those loops and then trim that. I like to give it a shake. <clears throat> there we go. And it doesn't have to be perfectly trim. We want it to have that funky vibe, right? <laughs> right? The way I add it on is I put my hook through where we've knotted the bottom of our chain. We'll just put our hook through right up above that and pull one of the strings through. And then I'll just tie it on. All right. Giving it three good knots. All right, now what do we do with those extra tails of yarn? We'll cut those and then I'll take my hook and go in the tassel or tassel and pull those strings inside. <clears throat> and then we can also put our hook through, but I'm gonna grab a smaller hook just to get up inside there and pull those strings down underneath where we tied. And it doesn't matter what size hook, this is an E, just so we can get those, uh, those strings down inside and cover them up. All right, and so that's how I put my tassels on. Isn't that cute? Now you can trim this a little more if it's sticking out. There we go. And so now I have two tassels on my poncho. So now my poncho, my funky, chunky poncho <laughs> is all complete and ready for me to wear. I have some errands to run today, so I think I'm gonna wear this out. See if I get any compliments. <laughs> I bet I will. <laughs>